Today, we are gonna be making walnut honey bread in the bread maker. Let's do it. Hey, it's the Ginger Optimist. Welcome to my lifestyle channel. I love having fun in the kitchen cooking using my Instant Pot, the air fryer, sous vide, my Vitamix, even my oven. I enjoy doing DIY projects, especially soaping. I enjoy traveling and all kinds of things. So come and join me. My friend Ruth is with me today. It's been a while, Ruth. Yes, it has. <laughs> so what are we doing? We are gonna make one of my favorite breads. It's very easy, but we need the bread machine. It's called walnut honey bread, and it's very nutritious. And not only is it nutritious, it's egg-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. What we're gonna do is look at the ingredients that I've already placed in a Ziploc baggie. That mixes them best, and then I let it sit overnight, which is not necessary. But um, just a hint, go ahead and put it in the baggie and shake it up real good. So we have sorghum flour. This is a high protein, rich nutrient flour. And a bit of cornstarch, ground flax seed, some salt, brown rice flour. I like to use the organic, but your preference. We have xanthan gum. And the xanthan gum helps stick the bread together because with gluten-free, a lot of times things can be crumbly, but this is the replacement for gluten in a regular bread. So it binds it all together. Yes, it does. It's the sticky stuff. And Fleshman's yeast. This is a bread machine yeast, but you can also use just a regular instant yeast. Okay, and now there are walnuts in here as well, and I prefer to toast them. Mmm, it gives them an extra rich, hearty flavor. And so as I said, I already mixed all this together. We'll put the recipe down below so you don't have to worry about, well, how much of what? That's gonna be down below under show more. With a bread machine, you typically add all your wet ingredients first and let them mix well. And our wet ingredients include two cups of warm water. Be careful that it's not hot. And then we have some olive oil and honey. and a little bit of cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and make sure if you're gluten-free that you do use the apple cider vinegar because all vinegar that's distilled is not gluten-free. Now we're gonna plug the bread machine in and get it started. Okay. Now this machine has a regular gluten-free cycle and it's number three. While this is mixing, we're going to add the dry ingredients. And one thing we want to be careful to do as well is to make sure that you use a rubber spatula and scrape the sides and bottom. We'll get a little bit more in here. The dry mix should be added within one to two minutes of this mixing cycle. Mm, okay. Now let's get another little dump here of ingredients. Make sure you get the bottom scraped real well because if you get a loaf of bread out and all the dry ingredients are stuck to the bottom, it's not that palatable. <laughs> Now let's dump the rest in here. Be careful to scrape everything thoroughly. Bread machine mixes things well, but the flour does tend to stick to the sides of the pan. There, okay. My bread machine tells me how long that this will take to make, and it's three hours and 38 minutes. Okay, so we'll see you soon. 
The timer has gone off, so it's time to check the bread. I'm so happy about this. And I know you can't smell it, but boy, we it, can. It smells <laughs> amazing. It does. Ooh, and it's nice and toasty brown. Okay, I'm going to use this just to lift that handle up because sometimes it gets stuck. Okay. Now, I put my bread machine on a two pound loaf. So this is going to be a nice big loaf. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Filled with those Ooh. toasted walnuts. I think we could probably have this sure. between the two of us. Yes, ma'am. And then there's some butter. One thing I find so yummy with this bread, when it's especially a couple days old, is to toast it. And if you put some almond butter or peanut butter, oh, yum. And you get an extra dose of protein. Mmm. Oh. What do you think? That's good. <laughs> Very hearty. It is crispy on the outside, but the inside is nice and soft. Very moist, yes. Definitely give this recipe a thumbs up. And I would love to know if you make it. Leave me comments down below. Tell me what you put in your bread and what you think of this recipe. Thanks again, my friend. God bless. Bye. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching The Ginger Optimist. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, I hope you will. I look forward to connecting with you. Leave me comments down below. Thanks again, my friend. God bless. Bye.